And here's the final way that we can prove that America is indeed the greatest country ever to exist. There's two ways. Number one, we're the only country in the world where even those people who say they hate it refuse to leave. I'm waiting for all these celebrities to leave America. And I haven't seen it. Because there is no better country to be in than America. And number two, there is a waiting list, 45 million people long, to get into this country legally. We let in 1 million people legally into this country every single year. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back with a new video. So, you're going to be checking out Charlie Kirk Crooks, Cody Ray's beat are down a few pegs. Okay, that's going to be really good. I call him Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's go right into today's video. My point's going to be. Uh centered around on capitalism and its relationship to immigration. I, for the record, am not a conservative. I'm a revolutionary uh, socialist, anarchist communist, to be precise, which is Whoa, much, okay. much further left than Hillary Clinton. And if you ever want to debate with a real leftist, I'd be happy to debate anybody in, in Turning Point. You sit there and you call al-Baghdadi the greatest terrorist or the greatest genocidal maniac in, in the world, right? While ignoring the United States' historical, historical role in the exploitation and the genocide of the indigenous peoples that lived here and the conditions that we consistently subject African-American communities to, which I know what you're going to do. You're going to point it to Democrats. Yeah, the Democrats suck, by the way. I don't like the Democrats either. Uh, like if Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton is about as far left, far left as you go, you need to keep going. Uh, don't go the other way. But my point being is, how can you ignore the contradictions within capitalism and its exploitation of indigenous peoples and its exploitation of labor and its exploitation of its ecological dislocations while at the same time criticizing religious fundamentalists who should be criticized while ignoring the genocidal behavior of the United States, the largest empire to ever exist. And those relationships can be proven through our historical, me and my name is Jorge, so that can be proven through our relationships with South America via uh, the way that okay. we've developed South thank, America thank through you. NAFTA okay, and CAFTA. I, I think I got where you're coming from. So um, there was a lot there. First of all, America's definitely made mistakes in our history. The Vietnam War was a mistake. The Iraq War was a mistake. Uh, but America is not a mistake. The world is a better place because of America. American, let, allow me to finish. I allowed you to talk uninterrupted. South Korea exists because of America. America went into the Korean War for one reason only, to make sure that the Korean communists did not control the entire Korean Peninsula. Tens of thousands of Americans died, so now that tens of millions South Koreans can live free. If we did not get involved in the Korean War, which people would say was empire building, but guess what? We gave the, we gave the entire country back to the South Koreans, and they are a free, Western-centered, neoliberal democracy that is an amazing, beautiful country thanks to American interventionism. Now, mind you, America has made plenty of mistakes. I am not an apologist for every decision that America has made in the history of our country. However, America is a country that has made the world a better place. The world is more generous, sure. more fair, more benevolent, more creative because of the American experiment and because of our country. When people are in trouble, America steps up. When there's a humanitarian crisis, America steps up. The most valuable countries, the largest cultural influence. And here's the final way that we can prove that America is indeed the greatest country ever to exist. There's two ways. Number one, we're the only country in the world where even those people who say they hate it refuse to leave. <laughs> I'm waiting for all these celebrities to leave America. And I haven't seen it. Because there is no better country mm. to be in than America. And number two, there is a waiting list, 45 million people long, to get into this country legally. We let in 1 million people legally into this country every single year. There's only 2 million legal immigrants into America every single year. We let in a million of those immigrants. In fact, I think that's too many. I think we're, we need to actually have the Raise Act by Senator Tom Cotton and moderately lower that over time. So this insinuation that America is an evil country and that is, it's, it's within our fabric, which you're nodding your head and you agree with, is insulting to our history. It's an incorrect analysis of the good that we have done with the world. And honestly, it is not looking at what's actually happening, the amount of people that want to come into this country yeah. to make their life. Okay, this is really, really interesting. Um, if America is as terrible as people point them as, <laughs> you, millions of people won't be running there. It's, it's, as, it's as funny as that, like, people just kind of, like, shit America. And I think some of them get supporters from other people and say, okay, America, do this evil thing. It's only the evil part of America and people are, like, showing out. But a good aspect of what America is really doing for the entire world, people don't want to say it out. You understand? So, um, when people shit America as an evil country, um, they took slaves from Africa and bring them over there and enslave a lot of black people. We all know. Americans are not proud of their history of what they did to black people. They are never proud of it. If you watch a lot of their, their um, council meeting and stuff like that, where they're talking about this race beating and 
about black people, about black lives, they are never proud of what they have done to black families. They are, they are, they are feeling guilty. Even if Americans that are in America are never owned a slave, but they are feeling guilty of what their forefathers did. So you won't kind of like blame them. A lot of things happened in history. An American kind of like did some bad things. But we should not only look at the bad aspect of America, we should also look at the good aspects. If America is as terrible as people see America is, a lot of people won't be coming to America. It's as simple as that. Especially when Ukraine was having war. People were running away from Ukraine. They are not coming. You understand? When there's trouble, people don't go to where there's trouble. People go to where there's peace and safety. So America, there's peace and safety. No matter how people kind of like paint them black and, and bad, America is a really good country and they have created a massive impact in the entire world. That is the truth. People are choosing to ignore. All the celebrities are condemning America several times. I detest that. I detest that. Uh, if America is as bad as they say, then they should leave America for <laughs> we that <laughs> we that stay in there. It's as simple as that. I love how um Charlie handled this race beta students who feel like America is a terrible country to live in. You should not be in America in the first place if you feel like America is terrible to stay. But this was an amazing video to watch. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all